Hey everyone, all right, I've gotten started on this. Uh, I'm just, right now, on the APC, I'm just uh, figuring out where I'm gonna do the wiring and stuff. Uh, I got the side panels loose, the bottom, the top loose. I've taken the wheels, I've matched them up. I haven't cleaned them up or anything like that. I just wanted to get that done ahead of time. I'll clean up the little flash and everything else later on. It's no big deal. Uh, I've been seeing how I want to mount the lights. Uh, the lights here are, uh, get this a little closer. Uh, I have a little circle to put a circle uh, light that they give you in there. I think I'm going to eliminate that and put a piece of uh, clear uh, styrene in there for the headlight. Uh, also, I did not notice, I, good thing I looked at it, was I was wondering right here on the top, it looks like a lens. Well, it is. There's a light on top, too. I did not know that. Up by the gun. So, it'll fit, like, underneath here, underneath the gun. Uh, notice that uh, I have to drill that out. So, I've been working on that. So, what it is, I've got an empty chamber in here, which I could fit in a small LED, uh, probably a 1.8 or something like that. So, what I'm trying to do now, this was all, if you look at this closely, you'll see that uh, it was closed. So, I've been drilling and drilling it out. Uh, make sure when you do drill uh, by hand like I'm doing uh, with these little uh, pin vices, start off with a small bit in the center, work your way to the large one um, and drill it out a little bit at a time. Don't take it straight on. It's not good for your hole. It'll, it'll catch or something like that. If you do it a little bit by little bit, uh, it'll work a lot better. So basically what I'm doing is I'm actually pinching this together. I'm not going to glue it and I'm increasingly going to uh, drill this out. So let's see. See, as you can see, it's just eating it slowly. Now, if it moves, I got a whole different way. Hold on. There we go. So I'm pinching it sideways and on top. So let's see if we can, if you can see this or not. I'm just going to drill it out slowly, meticulously. I guess I could use a clamp on this, but I'm just doing it by hand because I'm doing it softly. Um, drilling it out slowly just to see how much I can take out. This drill bit will not be as big as the uh, as this piece coming out here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, width wise I should just barely come all the way through. It should be alright. It's going to be real close as a matter of fact. But I'll work that out. If anything, if I get real close I don't like it, I'll take my X-Acto blade and just, you know, cut it out. A little bit by little bit. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'll get that done. Also, um, on this side, I took pictures of my camera just so that when I cut these screens out here, uh, I gotta replace this little piece of uh, clear, it looks like a, I don't know, a piece of metal right there. Um, I'm going to put that back on with a piece of styrene. Uh, I'm gonna do the same method on this that I did on my sub. I'll take my uh, wire wheel and uh, degrade most of the area around that. So I'm gonna go to cut this out. It'll be real easy. So that's another thing. I think that's the exhausts for the uh, APC. So if it is, I'll drill those out also. Um, I'm gonna double check on that, but I'm pretty sure those are the exhausts. So that's what I'm working on so far. Um, I'll just keep making installments and it'll all be in one big film thing. All right. Okay, everybody, I'm back real quick. As you can see, I've hollowed it out. I actually, what I did is I left just enough room here to put the lens in that they give you. Okay, just, I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, just enough room to put the lens in. I've used a small drill bit to go all the way through the inside of this thing. I've actually con used my X-Acto blade and just made a concave groove around here too. Um, so that, it gives it more reflection when it comes out, you know. Uh, but as you can see, I've gone all the way through both sides. So now I can drill a hole through the bottom and put in one of those 1.8 LEDs. I'll just run the um, the lines from that down through the hole and put the resistor and stuff on the inside of the tank. It's no big deal, but it should work out pretty good. I'm really kind of happy because it, uh, it's going to add that extra little detail on this thing that uh, with the light that uh, I did not expect it was there. So I'm really happy. Yeah, thumbs up. All right, I'll, be back. I'll see you soon. All right, uh, one thing I wanted to show you was this turret here that shoots the um, the uh, bullets and stuff up front. 
I'm not doing anything with that, but I gotta drill all these little tiny holes out. I mean, they're tiny, but I'll get to that later, but uh, I just wanna show you. I like to use these sanding sticks. I get them from Hobby Lobby. Uh, you can probably get them other places like that. Uh, they're nice because they've been cut down. They're, right, they're like the regular sanding sticks like this. You know, like your once you get the fingernail supply place and stuff like that. So, um, or Walmart or whatever. They're just cut down for you. Uh, different uh, grits and stuff like that. So basically what I'm trying to do is the seam line along here, I don't know if you can see or not, uh, I've sanded it down so far, but over here you can see where I have it. It's a pretty heavy seam line, and it doesn't match up real well. Just when you do it, I'll show you a little bit if I, I don't know if you see it or not, but when you do it, go in a circle. Don't stay in one place too long. You know, go around. Don't keep moving. Uh, don't stay, like, if you stay in one place, you're going to create a flat spot, and that's not good. You know, you don't want that. Same thing they do here. You can see right here, um, of how, how round that is. When you sand, I'll use this thinner one and, and uh, less grit. When you sand, always sand like this. Um, for you guys who are just learning or whatever, sand around. Don't sit there and go one spot like this. Always sand at the rate of the curvature. That way, you won't get a flat spot and it'll look crappy and you have to fill it in and all that stuff. Same thing with this one. Now the hard part's gonna be getting in between these two. Eh, crap, it's not gonna fit. So what I'll do is I'll use a file in there. Or I'll, well, or I'll just take some regular sand cloth and get in there and do that. Luckily, it's not too bad in there or up here. So, I notice my fingernails are a little long. I do that for a reason. I let them grow out a little bit so I can get in these tight grooves and do this kind of stuff and hold micro parts like these little things. Having fingernails, I know it's you know not manly, manly, but you know what? To hold this stuff, I was able to sit there and do this, you know, hold it with my finger nails and get in there and do a really good job. So, another tip for me, I just thought I'd uh, just thought I'd um, show you uh, what I do, and uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, one other thing I forgot to uh, explain to, uh, and I explained it in my sub video, I think. Um, get some green scrubby pads. Uh, you know, hardware stores or well, the ones at the, the Walmart and all so they're kind of too rough. You get different grades, this kind of stuff. But this is a worn one I have. And after you finish sanding the areas you like, if it's too, even if you use this and it's still too uh, rough, you can see lines. You know, what you need to think, green scrape pen. I've worn a bunch of these out, and I like the worn ones because they take the edges right here, they're really soft. And just go like this, and you just scrub lightly on this. In a circular mo or in a curvy motion, just keep doing this around and around, and eventually, not you know, it doesn't take too long. You'll get all those little scratches out. And if you want to take it another step further, go to Walmart or your local uh, um, automotive store. Get a spot sanding pen, and what this does, it just fiber optics out here like this, and it's good for small areas. Don't pull it out too far unless you have to get into a deep area, because these do break off easily. Kind of come down. And if you find any areas you really don't like, just hit it with the spot sanding pen. What it will do, it will remove any fine scratches even more. And you know, when you put a primer coat on this stuff, a lot of stuff disappears too. But I, I like to just hit it all, and just, to, you know, Take any excess stuff off, move just a little bit extra clean, a little bit extra smooth, and it works pretty good. Um, I'll work on this a little bit later too, but I uh, just want to show you that. And uh, I have a bunch of these. And I think it even comes to take it out and say this one runs out, uh, you have an extra one in here too. So you get like two for the price of one. Um, but you can get them, still get them at Walmart or any automotive parts store. Just keep doing this, and you know, if you want it super, super clean, that's what a spot sanding pin is for. All right. Hey, I'm back. Ooh, aliens. <laughs> That's what I'm watching right now. See? Yeah, baby. All right, to get back to point, I decided that I would sit down and I've already been through, looked at the light patterns. Looks like the rear taillights can be a, uh, a white 
or a light blue. I'm gonna go with the light blue on this. Uh, the searchlight up here is white. You see that when she goes, when I get off the uh, APC into the, when I go to go to rescue the people in the uh, um, power uh, terminal, uh, you see that light up. Um, also, the, these light up here and the main lights. They are round. I thought I could just put a piece of plastic over top of that and I'd be fine and leave it as a bulb inside there. No, I'm gonna have to leave the, the clear lens and build something around it so you can't see through. But it's like in case, like a, like a headlight in a car. Uh, you know, a round headlight and it's in case with a square thing. That's exactly what it is. So those are the only lights I saw, but the guns you don't see, they'll never fire them in the thing. So other than that, so like I said, I've been watching Aliens, uh, watching that, fast forwarding, all that kind of stuff keep a track of stuff. Also, if you get this edition of Aliens, the special edition, it comes in the rear and the back sections or the, the extra add-on stuff. It comes with very good drawings, not only of uh, drawings and realistic pictures or real pictures of the APC, but also the dropship. Oh my god, I mean, concept art, uh, real pictures of the thing in the studios, uh, artwork, everything. It's awesome. So for the APC and the uniforms, if you're going to do any soldiers, you can see the uniforms in there. So definitely pick up a copy of, if you decide to do this or anything to do with aliens, pick this up. It is a great thing. All right, so as you can see, I've already cut out one of the screens. <clears throat> and I'll, I'm here to show you what I'm going to do. I've, I've drilled out all these holes, as you can see. And can you see? Yeah, see all these holes I've drilled through on this side? That marks it so I can see it from the back side. I was going to use my wire wheel like I did in the U-boat. I thought, no, nah, I'll do this. It'd be a lot easier. Hard part's going to be doing these bottom ones. So basically, all I'm going to do is I'll show you right now. I'm going to turn this on. This is my uh, Dremel 300i. It does a very low speed or high speed. I'm going to put about mid speed. So here we go. It's real simple. Don't worry about it. Just eat through, get eaten through. Now just connect the dots, or just go to be very slow and meticulous. Don't be, you know, just take your time. Can I see it? Can you see it? Okay. It's gonna melt through. Start one area, let it melt, go back somewhere else. See it falls off? Same thing. Take your time. Don't go to the dots. We just hit the dots and then keep going. Your objective is not to go beyond the dots right now. Carve it out. And it's gonna be soft, but then it hardens back up again, so. Okay, so the basic objective is not to hit the top part. Almost did it right there. Almost, but I didn't. Yay! All right, that's because I'm doing it on camera. I'm, not, I'm trying to concentrate, but it's harder. Um, basically, just keep going. See how it melts? That's fine. It'll go back away. If you hit another area, see how it chips right off? No problem. Just keep, just keep going. Now this part should be good. There we go. Hit this part. All right, let that feel it. Look at it. And now I can do some touching up on this side. So get close, but don't. You know, don't go over the dots. You go, you know, you gotta be real careful. If you go over those dots, you're screwed. You're gonna lose your, uh, you're gonna lose your, uh, um, your rectangular look. Now, get a uh, X-Acto knife with a uh, brand new blade in it. Start carving it. 
Just always carves towards the plastic. Don't cut yourself. Harder to do it this way because it's on camera, but I'll do my best. <laughs> just carve, you know, just, just sit here and just whittle away to get real close. Don't, you know, overdo it. Just a little bit at a time. You're just carving this out. Don't go up to the line. I mean, you know, you'll see the line, but don't, you know, go digging into it. Just chip away this crap and you'll be fine. I love that line in the movie. Got a corn cob up his ass. <laughs> Looks like they're getting towards the planet. Alright, so basically, as much as I love Aliens, out of my top ten movies, Aliens is right there. I have Lord of the, the first three will be Lord of the Rings, uh, done by Peter Jackson. I, I love Lord of the Rings. Beyond anything, they're my favorite books when I was a kid and still to now. Um, and when Peter Jackson did it, I got excited. Uh, so Lord of the Rings, uh, I'd have to put Star Wars up there. Aliens is right up there. Aliens is all-time awesome. Get one of these sanding sticks. Uh, pick the roughest side. This is the blue one. This is medium grit. Uh, I want to say it's probably around uh, 300 or something like that. Take it, and what you're going to do is just sand in there, man. Sand up, sand up to the line. Just keep the line in view. Don't sit there and go beyond it. You want this to look perfectly straight. All right, so that's basically what you have to do. And um, you can use the rougher stick if you want to take the main stuff off and do that. But that's how I got this one done. And now I'm going to do this one. And then the hard ones are going to be down here. All right, so just give it a look-see. Try it. It's worth the effort. Um, if you take your time, you'll do it right. Um, best thing I could tell you. All right, that'll be the end of this video, so I'll come back with you on another video soon enough. But I'll be working on this. I'll try and show you, everybody, I've been, what I've been doing all along. Uh, I tried it, I did that with my sub. I'll do the same thing with this the best I can. Um, try to show all my techniques. Um, everybody's got their own way of doing things, and I appreciate seeing everybody else's ideas. I take their ideas and go with them, or I don't. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. So I appreciate you watching. I'll talk to you all later.